annoyed by the love bombing with men. Did you just bomb it? You know you got it. Welcome back to another vlog. So today is actually Wednesday. I actually ended up like setting up a last minute shoot in Miami. So this is my third time going back to Miami this week. So good God. It's a shoot for my brand. I'm shooting with a new photographer. He seems like he's cool. So Aman and I are going back to Miami tomorrow in the morning. I'm gonna shoot with him at like three. So I'll probably stay there. I'll do the shoot on Thursday and then I have to come back Friday morning because I have to work at four on Friday there and get him. I think this shoot is gonna be super fun. I haven't done a creative shoot in a minute. It's like gonna be an 80s themed, so we're gonna be shooting the One Piece bikinis I have um, the, from the Madonna collection. A lot of people actually don't know I have that bikini, which is why I was like, I need to do a shoot for it. But I've always wanted to do kind of like an 80s exercise themed um, shoot, so I'm super excited to do that. That should be super fun. I live not today and got like a whole bunch of stuff for it. So, so we have to be out of here at seven. Aman is literally out partying right now. <laughs> like we don't gotta be out of this house at seven. I'm a little nervous. All of the shooting I've done has not been anything like super creative. So I haven't had to do like any editorial posing and stuff. And that used to be like my shit. Like people were always like, oh, can you please do a posing video? Cause I used to look at Pinterest and like go through poses. Like that was my thing. Like I just always wanted to do really intricate posing. Cause I feel like as a petite model, like you don't fill the frame as well as a taller model. So I was always like, I want to do super interesting posing and stuff. We'll see how it goes. I was going to do my hair in the Bantu knots, but honestly I just don't see myself having the energy to blow dry my hair and do it right now to be so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have the natural hair. I just want to give you guys a little kind of intro into what to expect. Clearly my life is not consistent whatsoever, so who knows, stay tuned. But anyway, I'm taking my ass to bed because we have to be up at six to be out of here in enough time, so. Is it cold to me? Ah! <laughs> not the mullet, baby. I'm probably gonna do like a, um, a purple super shiny look like a purple and pink look hopefully it turned out okay i'm not like the best makeup artist but it is it's so nice
time we spoke, you told me calm is a thing. You had a lot of delusions, decided I was the blame. Got mad when we went our separate ways, wreaked havoc. Your ego was way too hard, you look shattered. I almost cut my finger on your sharp edges. Forget the lies you told, I hope you feel better. I didn't leave because you stopped me, I just pressed play. I bet you choose to stay and the past to say. Thursday? Thursday, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Friday. If my employer is watching this. <laughs> it's Friday. Yesterday I had the shoe. It went really well. <laughs> Today we're at Little um, Hen to go eat. I have my fashion Nova fit on. I got these glasses from Target. I'm like actually obsessed with them. My hair looks insane because I was out on a Vespa yesterday and the humidity just destroyed it so yeah if you guys are in weston or miami little hen is so good to eat at also i'm so sorry this quality is shitty i'm on my phone because i don't feel like bringing out my camera in the middle of weston <laughs> these soccer moms being real upset she's a vlogger girl but yeah little hen is amazing i'm on here andre comes back from costa rica today yay i'm not about going out but we're going out he's gonna first go out she's but, going out i guess yeah i'm going yeah. out so <laughs> Sometimes I feel so self-conscious so about filming in public because I'm like, people probably think I'm so fucking full of myself. Right. <laughs> like I'm literally it's videoing myself eating. Yeah, yeah. Like, damn bitch, stop filming yourself. But it's like, listen, it's the job. I have to. Oh my God, this is all good. o'clock in the morning yeah, and we're just going to the club. Ew, 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 purr. We're going to Twist. I'm excited. Well, I went to Twist before, right? Oh, this car is so warm. I don't know how I'm awake right now. Did you just vomit? No. Oh. Well, you. Okay. I was <laughs> okay, we're going. So I just got home from work. I left all of my stuff that I brought with me to Miami in my car. So like my camera, everything is in my car and it's like 55 degrees. I'm not going back to get that, so whatever. Thank God I have some face wash and stuff. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Sunday. So usually I try to get my homework done before, but this was a crazy ass week and I just didn't do everything the way I was supposed to do it. So I'm gonna try to clean up because if you guys saw my room right now, you would look like I, it's giving me anxiety. It's, my bathroom is just like literally a mess. <laughs> when I got back from Miami, I had to just throw all of my shit and go to work because I had to work at six and I got here at um, like four something. My job is like 30 minutes away from me. Where's my face wash? But anyways. I was having like a really interesting conversation with one of my coworkers because we were just talking about like dating and stuff. And I thought, you know, why not talk about this with you guys? I was telling her that I feel like I'm just done dating. 
I don't know, I'm just so exhausted of dating. I'm just not open to the idea again of opening myself up to someone for them to just literally shit all over me. Like I, I've been trying really hard because it has been something that I've been wanting to work on because as you guys know, I guess we're just gonna spill the tea. It's 2 a.m. and I'm feeling talkative. As you guys know, I had a relationship for like almost two years. That ended, which was very traumatic for me. But yeah, I feel like it just really mentally scarred me. Like the whole idea every time of just like, hey, here's my life story, here's what happened to me, like here's how I've lived, here's my favorite color. Like I'm just so sick and tired of doing that. I've been trying, I've gone hot on a few dates and stuff, and it's been good, but I don't know, like that. I have gone out with some guys and they've been good guys like nothing is wrong with them they're very sweet but um recently <laughs> i went out on a date and the guy was like perfect i have a list my therapist had me make a list of like everything that i was looking for in my significant other and all the other guys i've been on, on dates with they just didn't fit this at all like to me i've started to get so specific about what i want in a partner because i just have so much going on in my life honestly so i'm just gonna weed you out in the beginning like if you don't fit what i want i'm just gonna weed you out my list is very long and no one has ever fit it like ever this guy fit every, like literally everything i don't know where i'm going with this your heart will be in it but your brain is just like no bitch you're not doing that again they just i just can't see myself putting myself in a position again for someone to just make me look dumb Okay, so I feel like last night I was like all over the place with whatever the fuck I was saying because I was so sleep deprived and right now it is 2 a.m. again. But I'm going to continue the conversation because I feel like I can actually talk right now. Last night I was just way too tired. What I was saying was more so not that I'm like scared of dating again or being hurt. But it's just like, I feel like most people just don't take shit seriously these days. And I've heard so many people like every time I talk about this, especially with like older people, they're just like, I feel like you need to date somebody older because I have been dating people that are younger than me and I feel like I, younger than me are like the same age. No, I have not dated nobody younger than me. What am I talking about? I've been dating people the same age ages me and i feel like mentally and just like experience wise and where i am in life right now i'm just so much more ahead than the average 21 year old like i have my life figured out i have my career figured out like i'm making enough money like the kind of money that people make when they have a career i have that already and it's just exhausting dating people that aren't at the same place as me. And I just feel like most men that are in my age range, their priorities are just so fucked, especially now with um, online dating and stuff. Hookup culture is just so prominent. I'm not interested in that. I just, I'm way too much of an emotional person. I have such a problem with like, when I do finally like someone, I'm just, insane about them and it's just not okay so i don't even know how i could possibly just casually meet someone on tinder and we like hook up and stuff and like to me personally there's too many emotionally traumatized people out there that just are not doing the work but they want to be in a relationship because i have spent all last year healing like i feel person like i've done a complete 180 my ideas have changed drastically like literally a year ago, I didn't want to have kids. I didn't want to get married. I didn't believe in monogamy. I didn't believe in marriage. I thought it was a sham. I was just so off put by relationships and stuff. And I feel like I was also an extremely intense person. Like I was not a good girlfriend at all. I was not patient, was not open to emotions at all. I still do have a little bit of a problem with like emotions because when I was growing up as a kid I wasn't taught to express them so before I was so not a communicator I was just not a person like anything difficult I was running for the hills at the first chance I could get I have put so much time into being more apt to communicate willing to have difficult conversations like I'm okay with confrontation now I it's not my favorite thing I don't think it's anyone's favorite thing but I'm definitely more comfortable with it because to me, I would rather us have an uncomfortable conversation for things to work out between us. Like I wanted to work as opposed to before we were just like, I'm not doing this, I'm leaving, I'm ditching, I'm done, whatever. And I just don't feel like a lot of people are there, especially men at my age. Like I like going to museums, I wanna go to a picnic, take me to the fucking space thing like let's go look at stars like that's just who i am and i and i also am such an intellectual person like i need someone that i can have an intellectual conversation with and it's just 
not there. I felt like for a really long time I was settling, giving so much of myself to people that just didn't fit all that. I'm just worried that I'm gonna end up liking someone and thinking like, okay, you fit all this and then, then I waste my time because you're not that. Now that I am such an emotional person, because I feel like with therapy, my emotional damn, I think I always was very emotional. I just would not process them and I would suppress them. But now that I've gone through therapy and I've worked through that, I'm literally such an emotional person. Like I have a whole book of just poetry I've written and like journaling and like I cry all the fucking time now. I used to never cry, which is not a bad thing. Like honestly, I am very happy that I've become so emotional because I feel like I empathize with people so much more and I'm a bit more approachable as opposed to before where it was very cold and offsetting. Now that's a plus, but it's also a negative. I feel like I'm ready to date again, but I'm just I'm not ready to get hurt again. I also know that I'm young and I also know that I'm most likely not gonna find someone right now and marry them. Like that's just not gonna be it. I'm gonna have to go through several people and date them. And I think because of my last relationship, I just saw how rock bottom I hit. Like I literally spent almost an entire year just losing my fucking mind. Like you guys saw on Instagram and YouTube, like it looked cute from afar because I was traveling and shit, but I was literally out of my mind. <laughs> If you guys have been with me for a long, long, long time, then you probably notice a little bit of a shift in my behavior. Yeah, that was not normal behavior for me. Like I'm very much a homebody. I don't party a lot. I like to stay home. I like to work. I like to read. I like to watch documentaries. I'm very boring. Like, and I'm okay with being boring. But last year I just, my brain was not in a good spot and I didn't want to be alone. And I feel like I was around the wrong crowd a little bit. Very nice people, like super, super nice people. No bad feelings, nothing. I just think that the stuff I was doing just wasn't me. I'm just worried that I'm gonna invest so much into somebody who's not mentally at the level that I'm at. I'm gonna go through that cycle again. And I just can't do that. It To me, it's just mind blowing that I will probably have to date somebody and they will break my heart. And I don't know if I wanna do that. Like, maybe I'm just like not gonna date again. I'm so annoyed by the love bombing with men. To me, if you are too intensely into me in the beginning, I think that you're full of shit. Because if you're saying it to, to me, then you've said it to everybody. Maybe it's my trust issues. Someone on my TikTok was like, what are you gay, sis? I was like, no, men are just trash. <laughs> If you guys are going through this as well, or you have like some opinions on it, please let me know. Maybe, I don't know if I'm just alone in this. Like the only two friends I have are gay guys, so it's a different dynamic. I just wanna make my money. I just wanna harm my business. I wanna be successful and happy. My ideal thing would just be like, I grind my business out, I make a shit ton of money, and then I'm like 32 and I just go get a fucking sperm donor and I had my kid and we were just chilling. It was funny because I was watching Sex in the City with my roommate and she was just like, oh, I wish dating was like this again. Like people just stopped you in the street and asked you out on a date. And I was like, no one does that anymore. Like romance is dead. Like we go from, hey, I met you on Tinder and let's sleep together right now. And then we're gonna talk for a week and then we're gonna dump each other. How the fuck are we supposed to do this? Something else that also helps me because I'm trying to get over this is understanding like everyone has a time and a place in your life and they're meant to help you or to teach you a lesson or provide some kind of gift. There's nothing that's a mistake. So it's funny, every time on Twitter, I always see this thing that it's like, there is nothing that happens at the wrong time or nothing that happens by mistake or coincidence or anything. Like all of this is cosmically destined to happen, to teach you something, to do something for you. And looking hindsight now, like everything that happened to me, like losing friendships and having a breakup i literally had to have my life fall apart for it to come back together i had to kind of come face to face with my behaviors my traumas i had to go to therapy i had to be alone like one of my biggest things is i just hated being alone which is why i also have not really dated because i felt like i just was not okay being alone it has taught me so much and i'm honestly so thankful for it i'm thankful for all the times that I thought I wasn't gonna make it through and I thought that I was gonna literally die and that I was the worst person ever because you make mistakes, especially when you've had like a difficult, I don't know, this makes you sound like a victim, but I'm just saying like when you've had difficult things happen in your life, not that it's an excuse for your behavior, but you're gonna make mistakes. Like, and the best thing is to understand that you have to take the time to change and be a better person. Anyways, so yeah, that's my gist. Hope that made a little bit more sense than my ramble yesterday but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video i love you guys 
I will see you all.